Hey everyone, welcome to the webinar. It's Craig Grant. Um, I'm the CEO of RETI and with me today I have both Jason and Mike from Streak, which is a great CRM, especially if you're a big Gmail or G Suite user. Um, so before we get into them, I'll just kind of quickly, um, just if you haven't been to our webinars before, welcome you. Again, my name is Craig Grant. I'm the CEO of RETI. Um, if you haven't checked out RETI before, it's reti.us. Um, we have hundreds of instructional videos and product reviews and webinars and everything. And every single Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern, we do these three webinars. And usually our webinars are available only for a week for non-members, and after that are just member only. But with our CRM series we're doing, we're leaving all of our CRM webinars open pretty much forever because it's always the number one question as a technology speaker I get from every realtor in every room is what is the best CRM? I mean, every realtor I speak to, it's the same question. So one of the reasons why I wanted to pull Streak in is, um, one, if you've ever checked out RATI before, you'll know that our team is very big on the entire Google ecosystem and G Suite in general, which is the business version of a Gmail account. Um, we have about 100 different videos on just different ways to use that Google system in the real estate business. And I've never seen a CRM that's more focused or been geeked out more for the real estate world than Streak is. So um, first, let me uh, welcome both you guys, uh, both Jason and Mike. Welcome, guys. Hey, Craig. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Okay, good. Um, Hi, so, Craig. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. So do you guys want to kind of quickly introduce yourselves and say what your role is at Streak? Yeah, so I'll start first. So my name is Jason Kim. I'm the VP of Sales and Growth at Streak. I'm super excited to be here. Craig, thanks again for having us. And uh, I'll kick it over to Mike. Cool, thank you. So my name is Mike Nguyen. I've been with Streak for about two and a half years now. I'm a senior account executive here. Uh, my specialty is focusing on the real estate industries and the on-demand space uh, for the time being. So thank you for having me and uh, looking forward to showing you guys more around. Yeah, absolutely. So before we kind of turn over the reins and just let you kind of totally take over, Mike, and show us everything Street does, um, we were talking a little bit before we got started about how just how important a CRM is, not just for a realtor, for any business person. So um, do one of you guys want to kind of share your insights on just um, just what, what you see the role of a CRM is in a business and just kind of what your guys' overall philosophy on it is? Yeah, um, I, could, I could share my two cents. And Mike, if you want to add anything, anything to that, feel free. Um, so, I mean, I've been in the CRM space for about the past eight years. I was previously at Salesforce, um, so I know sort of, you know, why companies are forced to get a CRM, but I also <laughs> uh, understand uh, what the value of a CRM is, right? And for most people, a CRM is a sales tool. They have to track their calls. They have to log information, and it's a little bit of a pain. Uh, a lot of people don't like using their CRM, yep. uh, but with <laughs> Streak, I mean, we came at the angle of, we want a CRM to be useful, we want it to be easy, and we don't want it to be something that's forced adoption. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, for CRM, being able to automatically track emails, log calls, know who to follow up with next, I think is one of the most important things. So when Streak was created, that was one of the main pillars. Create a tool that people actually want to use mm -hmm. and not uh, is something that it's forced to use. And that's just something that we've been trying to adopt all the way through. Yeah, definitely. Mike, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, or? yeah, I think that was well said. Uh, just want to add a couple of things. I think uh, you know when Streak first came around, uh, our co-founders Alim and Omar realized there was a big gap and disconnect between where you spent the most of your time in, which is your inbox, right, mm -hmm. doing communications versus where you spend the time using other tools, right? And it's just a lot of back and forth, a lot of data elsewhere, all, all over the place. So what we did is we created a tool, uh, a CRM tool, or, or a workflow management tool overall, and we plug it to where you work every day, which yep. is your Gmail, yeah. right? Um, the idea is, like Jason said, you know, keeping things simple, intuitive for you, uh, you know, lower reducing the learning curve, making sure it's super easy for you to learn the system and use the system day-to-day -day that you actually enjoy. Yeah, That's the whole goal. Absolutely, because I can tell you, I've worked with so many, uh, whether individual realtors or especially teams or companies, where, where CRMs die in the vine is implementation. Um, and it's usually because of, oh, I got to go log into another system to enter an information. And the fact you guys built it all around the G Gmail and the calendars and everything and the and it's just smart. I mean, it's it cuts out that whole I got to go log into something else for re-entry. I mean, because yeah. that's, that's the biggest hurdle. 
Yeah, and just to add to that, that's an interesting point that you talk about implementation, because that's obviously another area that's uh, a pain for a lot of people, just getting started, not only using it, but actually getting started in the first place. And with our system, you'll actually see not only is it easy to use, but getting implemented and set up. Uh, a lot of our users have actually said you're as easy to set up as a spreadsheet. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> being able to set it up very easily is obviously one of the hurdles, and we try to tackle that as well. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not just set up. When I, when I talk about implementation, like um, I do run a website development company that has its own CRM for our customers. And anytime I sell a website to a company, the brokers always say, I'm like, all right, the site comes with five logins. Well, you know, and then you can buy more seats. And almost every broker is like, well, I could probably get five of my agents to log in to do anything anyway. So I'll start off with just those five seats. You know what I mean? It's just right. like having to log in and entering your information to a separate system. It, it just, it trickles down, not just at the, at the leadership, but getting every single person in the company to do things is where usually things kind of lose. So, yep. yep. And again, that's why um, I'm definitely going to be looking at you guys more for my own personal needs because I live in Gmail. I mean, everything I do is through G Suite. Um, and like we were talking about, I use so many either browser extensions or add-ons that can work within G Suite to do so much in my business. So it, it does make sense to kind of look at it in all aspects. So, all right, cool. Um, did you want to kind of throw anything in before we kind of kick it over to Mike so we can kind of show us really what Streak does? Uh, no, let's do this. Uh, I mean, I think, our, especially with a product like ours, the demo actually says a lot of yeah. being completely inside of Gmail. So I think once uh, Mike starts kicking this off, uh, Craig, obviously, if you have some questions along the way, uh, but hopefully, you know, the audience is excited as we are just to, just to show you guys a new philosophy on CRM is what we, we like to call it. Yeah, definitely. And the one thing I'll kind of mention before I kind of throw it over to Mike is, what Mike's going to be demoing for us is the real estate vertical of Streak. Um, but if any of you guys are watching this webinar that are non-realtors, you know, we have a lot of members and friends who attend from other industries. Um, they have a very similar platform that's not step-by-step -step for the real estate transaction that can be used in any business. So um, if you're interested in that, I'm sure they can follow up with one of you two guys after the webinar for non-real estate vertical. Um, but because this is all about RETI, we definitely want to showcase the, the real estate aspect of it. Okay, sounds good, Mike. Yep, appreciate that. Uh, before I go into and share my screen here, uh, just wanted to echo a little bit on that because the idea and the philosophy that we're doing uh, with the CRM space right now is so unique, and we are the only one who does this this way that is fully integrated into Gmail. Uh, you know, talking about it, it might not make sense because you have never seen or imagined something like this. So, um, you know, I think visually seeing it and how it works and how intuitive it is to be inside your Gmail is, is going to make a lot more sense uh, this way. So uh, let me go ahead on that note. Let me share my screen with you okay. and we'll get this show on the road. Sounds good. I'll give you the big screen. Thank you. All right. Let me know when everyone can see my screen right now. Yep, you're good to go. Great. Okay. So before we get started here, uh, what you see in front of you is just my typical Gmail inbox, right? You know, we don't want to change anything to the way that you are using Gmail right now. We only want to uh, increase the efficiency of it or make things easier for you inside your Gmail, right? Yep. So first of all, before you can start using Streak, you can first download Streak from two places. Right. You can go to our website here. This is our website, www.streak.com, and you can click onto the big orange button here in the middle of the page to download Streak onto your Gmail, or you can search for us in the Chrome Web Store here, uh, as you can see, um, you know, as an extension on top of your Google Chrome. But at the end, of, at the end of the day, what Streak is is an extension that you can download and install, uh, and as a layer on top of your Gmail now, allowing you to do much more for, with your inbox. With that said, once you download Streak, you will see the Streak icon up here at the at the top right, letting you know that Streak is now active in your inbox. And you will notice a pipeline section over here on the left-hand side. This pipeline section here will allow you to create and manage multiple workflows or processes in your business. If you click New here, you can see these are all the popular use cases of why people and businesses are using Streak. But for the real estate specific space, we have three popular use cases here of pipelines that people are using every day. One to track the buyer uh, contacts and deals, seller 
end deals. And then lastly, of course, you're, if you're a growing company or growing team, you're looking to recruiting new agents and bring them to your team, you can use Street for Agent application as well. right? But before I go into and show you actually what Street does and how you would use Street daily, I want to highlight three main points, uh, main themes really, uh, that you'll notice from these features that I'll be showing you. All right, first of all, I'll show you how intuitive is intuitive it is for you to use Streak within your Gmail, like it's just another day in your Gmail. Number two, how we help you stay organized by bringing everything that you need to pay attention to and related to a uh, lead or a deal all in one place and accessible in your Gmail inbox. And lastly, we're going to tie everything up uh, together and make sure that you stay on top of your uh, deals and leads, making sure that nothing is falling through the crack. Right? Last, mm -hmm. we're going to show you how to stay on top of your follow up, basically. Okay. With that said, the first thing I'll show you here is we are looking at my Gmail inbox already. Let's see how Strict interact with how I send and receive emails on a daily basis. Right. So, and we're taking a little bit of backward approach here. I hope you can understand. It will make sense toward the end, right? So we're looking at my Gmail inbox right now. Let's just say that you know regular email receiving back and forth. If you're doing a great job as an agent, people will start referring you leads in an email like this. So say for example, Jason has an Quang here has sent me an email and it says, Jason, referral me like I always do. I open the email. I look at the content of the email. Great. This is a brand new lead for me to work from a referral. Normally or typically, you would have to now go into another system. You have to log in. You have to press a bunch of buttons. Now you have to go back to your email, copy and paste the information. You don't have to do that anymore with Streak. We're going to simplify that for you by you're looking at the email here. All you need to do is click onto the streak icon, box icon up here at the top of the email. And then all you gotta do is type in the name of this new lead. As you can see, it's already suggesting me the name of the person who sent me the email as the name of this lead, right? Or I could just type it in here myself, which is Huang Nguyen Seller Deal, okay? Once I type in the name of the deal, I click on create new box here. And then I choose the pipeline to put it in because I have multiple pipelines helping me managing multiple workflows or processes in my business. Every process is different. So I know this one is a seller lead. So I'm going to go ahead and put it into my seller listing pipeline. Okay. And the pipeline is just the database where you're keeping track of everything that is a seller deals or lead for you. And I'll show you what that looks like soon. So with that, with that it takes only a second or two from the email. And two clicks away, now the record, the CRM record for this lead is created in your seller and you know uh, listing pipeline here. And the interesting here is that all the content, all the data that you would like to keep track of or need to update from this email or about this lead is available for you on the right hand side here, right? So instead of going back and forth, copy and pasting and wasting that manual data entry that you don't really like to do already. Now it's right here on the right hand side for you, right? Listing price, $1 million. So the lead source came from a conference or referral in this case. Property address is 3999 Payne Avenue, right? So it's super easy now for you to update information without going anywhere, right? So that's the first thing here, how we can inter help you interact from emails, especially when it's like a brand new lead coming into your inbox like this. From here, after you update everything, you can now go ahead and shoot your reply back. And once you, after you reply back, you can simply move your mouse over here on the right-hand side once again, click onto the stage drop down here, and move this lead into the contacted stage now. So now that you know, hey, you've made this con contact to this lead. Right. So where does this is stored? Where is this stored and where is I can go and find out all my information, my, my database. So you can access the pipeline from this view once again by clicking on the pipeline name here or you can extend the pipeline section here left out on the left hand side here. All you can see all my different pipelines. I just need to click onto the name of the pipeline here. It will take me to the pipeline view. This is the pipeline view. This is where you can go and see everything, have that bird's eye view of everything that you're working on. If you're working in a team, uh, depends on the permission level, 
you can see everything that your team are working on from a, a team leader point of view, or you can see everything that you're working on right now if it's just you by yourself. Okay. And in this view here, as you can see, this pipeline view, it gives you the bird's eye view of everything, but not just that, it helps you understand and see and give you that visibility of where every deal is at in your process, right? You know, active listings, there are four deals right now that are in active listings. There are seven that are about to be closed right now, right? Normally, you would have to go somewhere else out of, say, your inbox if you want to see this. And, it, you know, it doesn't even break it down in the way that you easier for you to to understand as this is as well as you can see and feel it's very familiar to that spreadsheet uh, view that you're you know how to use everyone knows how to use that spreadsheet view, right you got each row you got your columns each column represent represent a data points each row represent a record in this case it's a lead or a deal right and in here, it's really easy, again, for you to customize your pipelines to add in all these extra columns. Uh, you don't have to wait on someone or pay someone or, uh, you know, do a lot of extra things just to customize your, your CRM. It's really easy for you to do that, right? To add a new column, you just add here, click here, insert new column, right? And all these are the, all the different columns that you can create. I'm not going to go deeper into that right now, uh, but we have separate videos and short videos on, on actually helping you customizing your pipelines from here. I just want to make the point that it's really easy for you to do that. As easy as Jason mentioned earlier, how to set up a spreadsheet. Okay, but there got to be more than this, right? More than just a spreadsheet in your inbox. So uh, we looked a little bit of earlier of how you can put a lead into the system from an email. Of course, everyone is looking for that automated way, or if you're getting leads from Zillow.com or Realtor.com, or if you have a website and there's a form on your website, it is possible for us to integrate with these uh, lead gen resources and auto-populate the leads and auto-fill in the fields for you as well when it comes into the system. For example, I'll just give you a quick example here. If you have a website or if there's a Zillow lead on, on your uh, Zillow portal, and these are the information that are available for you that was submitted, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say this is it, and we submit this into whatever that it is in the back end for you. Automatically, give it a couple of seconds here. But that lead will auto populate here into there. It is. It auto populate into my uh, pipeline here, as you can see, right? And mm -hmm. fill in the information for Craig here as a contact as well. It's assigned to Jason here as my team leader, so he can then triage it out to other people. It fill in the listing price, the lead source, right, and any other information that I was able to get from that lead as well. So things can be automated, as you can see here, whenever a new lead comes into the, the system. You can also set up an automation to send out an email automatically to the customer, right? Saying, hey, thank you for your interest. Somebody from our team will reach out to you shortly to, to uh, make sure you contact that person or your lead immediately, right? Yeah, and, and These are just an example yeah. of some of the automation available for you beyond the auto-creating lead as soon as there's a lead submitted. Right. Yep. So, Michael, real quick, on the uh, the way you were able to import that lead automatically, the customer can set that up themselves. They don't have to contact Streak and have you guys do any custom programming to make something like that happen. Uh, so, as of right now, um, if you're if their customer are familiar with Zapier.com, mm -hmm. they can basically uh, set it up on their own using Zapier.com. But, but if they have issues or anything like that, they can definitely reach out, and we'll be happy to help them. Okay. Uh, Sounds good. Setting that up. Great. Thank you. Great question. So going back to the pipeline a little bit here, as you can see, oops, Lead, leads comes in automatically, auto populate, or you can enter it in manually in your system. But that's just how, as you can see, we are able to do all of that up until this point without even leaving our Gmail inbox at all. Right. And, mm -hmm. You know, how we integrate with how you interact with your emails every day or how easy it is to add manually into the box, into the record here, right? You can see how intuitive it is to use Streak on the daily basis. There's not much new things that you got to learn. It's already how you use Gmail daily. It's how you use Spreadsheet already. Mm -hmm. Just tying everything together. Yep. 
Absolutely. The second thing here is how we going to able to help you keep everything in one place. How we help you organize not just the information that you have on your contact, but also the interactions you had with them, the different files and documents you have related to the deal, right, and and beyond that, phone call notes and et cetera, et cetera. Like you guys talked about earlier, it's it is a really a pain for people to come in and update these information and look for the information if someone does call. So, for example, if I'm Real life scenario here. I'm working on different things. I'm I'm doing communication in my inbox, and a customer of, customer of mine called me up and asked me, "Hey, where's my deal at right now? What is the next step? I need an update." Okay, instead of panicking and then say, "Hey, let me call you back," or like you know, <laughs> and looking through through many many other places with streak, it's very simple. You're already in your inbox. All you gotta do is. Type in your Gmail search bar here the name of that person or the property address or whatever that you can remind remember yourself about that deal. For example, Terry Bailey is the name of the person who called me. Immediately, Streak is going to let me know. Hey, there's an active Terry Bailey seller deal here in my seller listing pipeline that is uh, in my record, and it also tells me before I even do anything that the stage that it's in right now is under contract. So. All I need to do is click it to open up the box view. This is the box view, and keep in mind the box view is still in your Gmail inbox. Inside the box view, this is where we organize everything in one place for you. As you can see, information are divided into two parts. On the right hand side here, these represent the data that you need to know. All right, where is the deal at? Who's working on the deal? All right, who's the contact that you're? Uh, that is the seller over there. Some notes about Terry. Some of the data points that we saw earlier in the pipeline view, in the spreadsheet view, organized in more of a vertical, easier for you to comprehend in this box view. And then magic columns here. We also, uh, you know, instead of sitting there with a good old pen and paper and writing down, you know, when did you talk to this person last? When was this deal comes into place, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Those takes up time. And then you gotta look through your notebooks to, for those information. With Streak, it just automatically update those information as soon as you, you know, organize in emails and phone calls into the box mm -hmm. related to the deal. You know, interaction-wise, that's what this whole left-hand side is all about. As you can see, the entire interaction history that you ever had related to this contact and related to this deal. Is organized here on this left-hand side, starting from three years ago. It's it looks like mm -hmm. right, there's a bunch of different phone calls, in-person meetings, um, emails. Multiple people from my team have been trying to reach and work with this person, and finally, up until a few months ago, we were able to do something with that with this lead. But the idea here is that in this box view that is accessible by you, and of course, if you collaborate with your team, your team members can share their interactions with the customer related to this deal as well. Now you have a combined visibility from all the interactions across your entire team, right? Now everyone's on the same page and there's no more like texting each other, calling each other uh, and emailing e each other just to find out, hey, what have you done here? What have you talked about? Uh, what should we do next here? Da, 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 right? Yep. This, is, this is about that whole transparency and visibility that now you're gonna have the streak in one place, okay? Not, not only we organize all the interactions together here, of course, as you can see, if you, if you attach emails into this box and the emails have files, the files get stored in the box for you as well here. So the whole idea, again, organize everything you need to know about a deal in one place. So it's automatically yeah. separating the attachments into that files tab? What's that? So it's automatically pulling attachments out of emails to create that files tab? Yes, exactly. Okay. Now, can someone manually upload a file? Like if they have a, a document signed locally or anything like that? Yep. Yep. So inside the box, you can click onto the top left here where it says add, comment, task, no file, etc. And here you can, you know, manually type in the interactions that you have. Or you can click on the file button here mm -hmm. to upload the file from your computer or to your drive or from your drive down into the box. Okay. Great. Great question there. Uh, on the same note, in this box view here, uh, you can again add a task 
either for yourself to remind yourself, you know, these are ad hoc situation, you know, that you need to do something. For example, here, sign contract that both were assigned and created uh, by Aubrey here and myself to sign the contract with Terry that was due 10 days ago. I know this is done now, so I'm going to go ahead and mark it as complete. Right. But you can create tasks and assign it to different people or yourself here in this box view. The beauty about the task is it's synced with your Google Calendar. So as soon as you create a task with a due date, it shows up on your Google Calendar as well, whoever the task assigning is. So it keeps you accountable uh, even when you're on the go and you, all you have access to is our mobile app or our uh, or your Google Calendar app. Okay. Now in here, of course, you can log phone call notes here and you can log meeting notes here as well. And you know, keep in mind if you're on a, on the go, you can log phone calls uh, on the on the mobile app as well on the iOS version. Okay. Now let me ask you a quick question on that. Um, yeah. I, I can obviously you can manually log a phone call, but um, if you are using either Google Hangouts or uh, Google Voice, does it tie into that in any way, or is it you're just entering a notes about phone calls? Yeah. So that is actually a great point to bring up. I am a big fan and big user of Google Voice every day. Mm -hmm. What I do is I download the Google Voice extension onto my uh, browser. Mm -hmm. And because I have the contact information here in the box, and I have all the contact information listed out here, excuse me, like a uh, phone number and everything, all I have to do is in the box view here, I click onto this phone call button. And the moment I click onto the phone call button, it's going to use my Google Voice number to call Terry directly at this phone number. It's gonna open up the call log button. Um, it's gonna open up the call log view automatically as well as I'm calling Terry using Google Voice. And whatever, if, the, if Terry does pick up, I can go ahead and take the notes about the call here. And then for next steps, I just type in down here as a next steps and it'll create them as tasks for me nice. to follow up. Okay. Great. So it does it does integrate with Hangouts and Voice then? Yes, correct. Awesome. Yeah. Beyond that, if you are going to, uh, if you are a pro at Google Voice and you are texting using Google Voice and you want to organize and keep track of all the text conversations uh, in the box as well, you can definitely do that too by turning the Google Voice uh, text option into email threads. And now because you have them as email threads, you can put those into your box too. Now you now you have everything, really have everything, text and emails in one place. Very cool. And that's the same thing with Hangouts as well? Uh, Hangouts, not yet. Hangout okay. is more of a chat situation on the side, uh, but Google Voice separately, we, we'd, uh, we integrate quite well with Google Voice. Okay, great. Cool. Good question, though. Uh, on that note, you know, I want, there's one more thing here that I want to show you in this box view, and it will tie everything together on how Street can help you with follow up. Now, in this thing, a lot of the, from my time and experience dealing with and helping with um, real estate teams, there are certain things uh, that everyone seems to love, which is accountability, right? Once you have someone on or under contract, there's a there's a timeline that you need to stay compliant by, right? So, and there should be a, a, a game plan along the way, every step of the way anyways, so that you don't have to think about what you need to do next. The system will just remind you of what to do next as you progress along the, the way, along the process. And by that, what I mean here is, let's say, for example, among the automation that we can put into place, we can say, hey, as soon as you go into a specific stage in your pipeline, a default list of tasks will automatically be created and added into the box, automatically get assigned to the right person on your team to do those tasks. Right. So now you don't have to even worry about that at all. You just need to update the stage, as I'm going to do here, to active listings and all the next steps. And the people who are supposed to do it and when they're supposed to do it will automatically be happening in the background. Streak will take care of that for you. Nice. As you can see, I update. All I did was update the stage to active listings. Andrew automatically get assigned into the box. Andrew is our listings and uh, open house expert. As you can see here, the task get automatically created, assigned to everyone in the box to discuss these options with the seller. It created two tasks assigned to Andrew here to contact the showing prep people 
and also the showing marketing material as well. Right. This is especially important when you have someone moving under the, under contract or financing stage, so that you know things like hey, reach out and get the green sheet, reach out and do this and do that. Right. It creates that action plan for you and with the appropriate date. So now you're constantly reminded and keeping things under compliance, the contract doesn't fall out of place. Mm -hmm. Now, along yep. those lines, can, you, can a user set up a automation of tasks um, to do with a contact or a client in the system? So you want a list of tasks? Well, like, oh, so to, let's say as soon as you add someone in as a buyer, right, mm -hmm. then it automatically would, you would be able to pre-set up a list of tasks that would automatically happen on a schedule for every buyer. So as soon exactly. As buyer, so that is doable, correct? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. We're working on uh, an easier way for the customer or the client side to set this up. But in the meantime, again, this is done using Zapier. So if you're not familiar with Zapier, just let mm -hmm. us know and we'll, we'll be more than happy to work with you to put these uh, action plan or auto create task in place for you. Yep. Okay. Great. Right. Cool. So the last thing here I want to highlight is how we're going to tie everything together here of course being inside your gmail uh, how we organize all your interactions and data together and how you can now leverage that to stay on top of everything that you need to do making sure nothing is falling through the crack so if you if you notice everything that shows up on the left hand side here in the box Interaction wise, it auto update these magic column over here, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Data Blast interaction is auto updated. So, for ad hoc task or situation, you already know that you can create a task for that. For the false task, you know that you can create an auto create task for that. Mm -hmm. But for following cadence wise, right, you're entering information into the pipeline. It's great, you're storing them, but it it would even be better if the system tells you now, hey, when you should follow with this person, where are you at with this person, right? Depends on your cadence. So with Streak, what we can do here is we are allowed you to create these save views, so to speak. Think about them as like a sub files cabinet, allowing you to get to exactly what you're looking for just one click away instead of going into the pipeline or the spreadsheet view here and scrolling through and looking for what you need to do. Kind of like what you have to do with the other system anyways. You have to log in, you have to scroll through, and you got to look, right? Let's, let's worry. Let's not think about all of that. Streak will take care of all of that and make your follow-up a lot easier now. Now, what we can do here is click onto the Save View Editor here and create these different filters. We're not going to go into that yet. I want to show you the finished product, really, which is right here. I've created one save view to show me exactly who I should follow up with. The cadence is that I have not talked to them for the last seven days, since seven days ago. Right? Anyone that I have not yet talked to since seven days ago will automatically show up in this view, reminding me to follow up with them. And it shows up in a, in a way to let me know where each of these people are at in the process as well so that I can reach out to them with the right message, yep. right? Uh, you know, uh, similarly, I can go into a view like this to show me, to see, oh, here are all the upcoming appointments that I have with, with people, uh, breaking down by the date where the appointment is coming up, right? So this is how we help you organize everything and quickly access everything by these views. And here's all the upcoming showings. Here are everything that is in closing right now only, so I can focus on that. Right, you know, and again, going back to the pipeline, we're at 43. In each of these, there are only a certain list that fits that criteria. Okay. So now, for the follow up here, seven days follow up here, you might have you know different follow up cadence for different stages in your process, right? But so you can create as many views as you like one for three days follow up, one for seven days, one for everyone that you have sold to already and closed. Now you just need to nurture them or touch base with them every 90 days or so. So there's different views that you can set up one time that will automatically alert you with a new list of people you should follow up with that fits that follow up cadence, right? So for example, the seven day follow up ones, once I've created it, 
it's one click away now for me to go into and see everyone I should follow up with. Taking it one step further, you know, if I don't even want to click on here, if I'm just in my inbox, I want to see it right away every morning as I turn on my computer. Okay, we can do help you with that as well. Right? Once you create the view, you can click on to the shown inbox right here at the top of your view. And now every morning when as soon as you load up Gmail above your inbox, we are letting you know, reminding you who you should follow up with according to that cadence up that's, here. That's pretty awesome. Right? So the idea here is that every morning you comes in, there'll be a brand new list of people mm -hmm. that just fit that criteria today, right? So you comes in, you either open each one and know exactly what you've done, where they at, and then you can either pick up the phone and click onto that Google Voice button to call and log the phone call there, right? Or you can go into the view itself and do a mass email follow-up instead of sitting there and send one email at a time to these people, which takes up time. And you have to copy and paste and look for the information on top of that as well. You can do a mail merge and do and compose just one email and we'll be able to grab all the information related to that deal uh, and personalize these emails to be sent out to everyone on this view in this view and i'll show you that cool. right but before that i just want on this note of the inbox view here yeah, the yeah. idea here is that at the end of every day you want this to be blank yep. right because now at that moment you can be sure now that nothing is falling through the crack that, and you have talked to and follow up to with everyone that you're supposed to that day, right? And the next day you comes in, it'll be a brand new list waiting for you, reminding you to follow up. So now you see it's every day is the same and it just keep stacking up and it's a new list every time. So now every single lead in your pipeline is being recycled and being reminded to follow up, right? Nothing is really falling through the crack now because of that. Yep. Right? Cool. So the last thing here, of course, is let me show you how to send or follow up with all these people. Okay, real quick, can I ask you a question day. on the seven day view, on the seven day follow up? Um, What's that? Can I ask you one quick question on this? Um, the column that says yeah. priority, where it has, you know, cold, warm, hot, is that mm -hmm. being qualified by the customer or is that the system identifying that? So this is a drop down column that is um, up to you as the end user to identify. Uh -huh. So if you think this is a hot hot deal right now, then you would choose the hot option, but it's not automatically okay. um, decided for you. Understood. Just making sure. Cool. Okay. Uh, so in this view here, let's just say that I want to follow with all these people. And simply, I just need to select all of the roles or the boxes that I want to follow up with. For example, everyone here. I'm going to click on the mail merge button here at the top, looking like a paper airplane icon. Mm -hmm. It's going to load up my regular compose window like it always does for Gmail. But what you're going to see differently here on the right-hand side is the list of the people inside these boxes that I should be following up with, right? Each person showing me the exact name of the deal that they're in. So now, not only that this is going to help me save time from typing one email individually, it can even load up the, the body of the email quickly for me as well. Because if this is something that you're going to send every day like you should, following up wise, you should have a snippet for it, right? A template for it. And just like can response, you can either click or type in the shortcut of the um, snippet, or you can click the more tools button here snippet here and select it from this list but I'll, I'll show you something cool here by just typing in the shortcut to the snippet and, and seller follow-up just like that the entire message will appear nice. these variables will be filled in as well these variables what you see here are the information that we were able to pull from the pipeline fields to customize and help you personalize these messages without you having to go back and forth copy and pasting into each of the field accordingly Yep. Right. So here, if I hover my mouse over, it says, "Hey, Layla." Right. Since we last spoke on April nineteenth, but then when I send it to Jim, it's gonna say, "Hey, we last spoke on February fifth, and your name is Jim in here, right? Yep. You know, right." So this is how we help you personalize it and send these email out quickly 
uh, instead of one by one. Once you review all the information looks good, you can send the email out uh, by one click. And each of these emails go out one by one individually to each of them. And the email automatically gets stored and organized in the box for you as well. Yep. No, it's pretty yeah. awesome that it's actually not just pulling first name, it's pulling actually usable fields from the, from the database. Like yeah, the yeah. You know, like, uh, like the CEO and president of KW recently said uh, at their conference, you know, he said data is, is definitely the new goal right now. Yep. Data is only going to help you do so much more. So it's really important to track these data, but also have these data, you know, be able to leverage these, these data to your advantage as well. Yep. That's exactly what Streak able to do for you. Absolutely. And by the way, one thing I want to point out is because it's another uh, strong selling point of the product is um, some of those tools at the bottom of the editing box are not um, from Street. So if you do use any existing, um, you know, Gmail add-ons or browser extensions that work within Gmail, they will kind of make the system even more powerful. So I know in RTI we reviewed ones like, you know, Boomerang and MX Hero and several others, um, Email Monster that are really can enhance, you know, the, the whole experience you have in gmail and google calendars and everything that would just tie into what's going on here yeah yeah i think you you answer something there you know the fact that we are inside gmail and com integrate completely inside gmail we try to interact and in, and seamlessly with all the everything else that you use inside gmail g suite right you know like google yep. sheets google contacts um google forms and beyond that as well if you use like Calendly, for example, for your calendar appointment invites, if you use MailChimp, if you use, you know, these other tools that are integratable or, uh, with Streak, now think about it. You can do everything now only in your inbox and it will just update everything else uh, somewhere else. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Well, with that, uh, of course, there's a lot more here, but, you know, uh, just to be mindful of your time and uh, definitely don't want to overwhelm you with too much information. Uh, these are the most uh, popular and, and valuable features uh, and how people are currently using Streak right now and finding it helpful. Mm -hmm. So I want to leave you with that. If you find out more, if you want to find out more information, um, We'll be happy to, to get more contact and having a more serious conversation with you to see if this is the right fit for you. We also host uh, weekly webinars, not only for real estate specific, but also for general cases, getting started and things like that. For resources, uh, you can always go to our website here and click on support, or you can go to our YouTube uh, channel by go to youtube.com and search for streak.com for more additional resources there as well. Yeah. Um, well, I guess one more thing, because I know Jason said he was something he uh, wanted you to kind of speak about, which also is just how to use Streak from a recruitment standpoint. Right. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me yep. there. So the, the other use, popular use case besides just handling deals, managing deals and leads uh, with Streak is if you're looking to expand your team, you can use Streak for recruiting and hiring as well. Right, so something like, hey, you're looking for somebody, if you're looking for them locally or LinkedIn, you can create a pipeline and then customize that workflow uh, to, to match with your own hiring process. Right? You, know, you find them, when you put them into the system, then you can either mail merge them saying hello, or you can reach out to them individually by phones or call, then you will change, you know, just keep track of them uh, as you move along the process. Now you have a database uh, that is easy and quickly for you that will remind you to follow up with these new agents as well yeah. in your inbox, right? So it's a little bit multi-purpose and you can use Streak for this as well. Similar use cases, similar. Yeah. And, and that's one of the beautiful parts about this system. It's very flexible and customizable. But you can kind of bend it to whatever your need is. Because um, I can see over on the left there, you have onboarding training and support and different things that aren't just a typical real estate transaction. So. Um, it's definitely a good selling point of the product. Yeah, uh, you know, for bigger teams or brokerages, for example, like Live Real Estate in Canada or uh, Keller Williams in Baltimore um, and, and more, if you have a big brokerage team where you have a dedicated team in your organizations or office that handling onboarding uh, for new agents 
it's really helpful for them to have a pipeline like this, keeping track of everything or the new agents coming on, you know, not just a, a way to keep track of everything or all the new people coming on, but also provide visibility for other people in the company to know, hey, where are these people at? Are they up and running yet? What else needs to be done? That sort of thing. Yep. So by tying everything together and having multiple pipelines, it gives you that the visibility across the entire organization, not just one team. Yep, great. Okay, great. Um, I think you did a great job kind of giving our users an overview of the system. And like I said, we're definitely going to not only run this this week as our live webinar, but also post it to our site, you know, in perpetuity so people can go back and review it and everything. So um, do you have, um, I know we talked about this a little bit, but do you have um, an idea on just pricing in general and maybe anything you might want to throw an extra for any of our attendees? Yeah. So we did, we were able to put together a promo for everyone who's interested and everyone who's, uh, you know, come to us from our ETI here. So the, the promo is a, if you're an individual agent, you know, if you're an individual want to give this a shot, we are able to extend the trial from 14 days to 30 days trial for you. Right. Awesome. So you get a 30 days, 30 days free trial. After that, if you feel confident and you want to move forward just by yourself, then you can sign up on a monthly basis with a 20 percent off for the first year. Awesome. OK. Yep. Uh, after that, it will get back to the normal price, of course. But, you know, within the first year, we're confident that you're going to see the full value of street. Uh, to 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 say it's going to be okay now. It actually is going to actually is a great deal even at the price, right? Um, now, if you are functioning in in a, a team, if you have a team of five or more, then of course you can still take advantage of the thirty days free trial, the twenty percent off uh, for the first year, but you will also get uh, onboarding and um, implementation included as well for team of five or more. Awesome. So that's the current promo that we have for you. Yeah, I mean, 20% off for the entire year is a pretty awesome deal. So hopefully some of our people will jump on that. Okay. Um, I think, yeah. like I said, I, I think you did a great job of reviewing it. Um, again, one of the reasons I wanted, I kind of, when I met you guys at NAR convention in November, I said right away, I'm going to want to set up a webinar with you guys is, one, our entire RETI team is very all in on both the Gmail and G Suite pro products and just all the Google system. We've talked about it a hundred times on our site how there's no more cost effective and better way to run a business than using Google Suite. And this is by far the most integrated product with G Suite that any of us have seen, especially tailored for the real estate industry. So um, I definitely want to thank you guys for kind of joining us. Um, and hopefully some of our people come check you out and get and jump on board. Yeah, thank you. As a quick closing note, if you don't mind. Yeah, here. of course. Go for it. Uh, and I'll let Jason uh, take over as, and say goodbye as well. Uh, you know, just from my experience working with and helping real estate teams using Streak, you know, the, the biggest thing here that we're trying to help you with is to put in a structured process of your day to day, right? Most of the time, people don't even realize how much things they have going on and, and that, uh, you know, what is coming up even the next day, right? So you ended up bouncing around. You don't have much uh, going on. Everything is kind of all over the place, right? So the key that I found for successful real estate people are that you've got to be organized. You've got to stay organized, right? And of course, uh, you know, make sure that you can, you can you're able to leverage all the leads that you get because most of the time you you're paying for these leads. Yeah. You're paying money for these leads. No so why are not why are you getting leaving them sitting there stale, right? You should get everything that you should out of that, and should just make it super easy for you to do that, right? And it's not something that it will take you months or weeks to learn how to use. Yeah. As you can see already, it's very easy, intuitive, and it's something that you're already familiar with, which is Gmail yeah. and spreadsheet. And, and it's right? probably one of the most minor little items you mentioned in the entire webinar, but the add to inbox feature is brilliant. I mean, just the fact that when you log into your own email every day, you see what are the most important things I have to do in the email, to me is just gigantic. I mean, because like we talked about, the typical Especially if you're dealing with a team, the hardest part is going into another system and knowing what's priority um, and putting it right at the top of the inbox is awesome. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so with that, you know, if you if you would like to learn more, 
feel free to reach out to me at michael at streak.com or just email us at support at streak.com if you have general questions. Yeah. And I'll hand it over to Jason just to kind of say hello, goodbye. And thank you, Craig, once again. Yeah, Mike. absolutely. Yeah, thanks, guys. And thanks, Mike, for, uh, for putting together that compelling demo. Uh, so, yeah, I know we're signing off right now, but one thing I did briefly want to touch upon is just a little bit about the future of Streak and our continued partnership with Google. So we have a lot of exciting things coming out in 2018 and leading into 2019. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much in detail, but it is going to mostly be based around uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence. So doing more with your data with Streak, as we keep mentioning, there's uh, a lot of ways for you to get data into the application, and that's our whole premise, making it really easy. But also doing stuff with that data, processing all the data we have about your emails, and being able to bubble up. Uh, all the proactive insights that we have on this. Awesome. The other side that we're going to be focusing on is mobile. So people look out. We not only want to stay integrated in your inbox on your desktop, but also on your mobile device as well. We know the future is in mobile. Mobile is already here. Yep. Uh, so we're going to be integrated in the Gmail application on your mobile device. We're working very, very closely with Google and even Apple Team to make sure it comes out on iPhone. Um, so look out there as well. So not going to talk too much there, but very, no, very exciting year for us. And looking forward to everything in the future. No, that's that's so exciting that's stuff. Exciting. I mean, no. I'm sure for half the people watching this webinar, machine learning went here and right over their heads. But that is where everything is going between that and artificial intelligence. So the fact you guys are baking that in, and I mean, these guys literally have a direct line to Google. I mean. The fact you've been playing with the new Gmail platform for six months before anyone else says a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was a little yeah. jealous before we started this webinar when they said they've already been playing with it for six months, and I'm like, I'm first getting my hands on it. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the perks of being, uh, being some of the Google uh, platform partners. Uh, but we, we touch a lot of their products. Unfortunately, some of them that we've touched on, they don't get out to the public. It's not ready yet, but, yeah. uh, but it's pretty fun. Yeah. Cool. That's pretty awesome. Uh, one last note here, since I think it uh, might be great if, if the audience here watching and you're on the East Coast or around the D.C. area, uh, we actually will be, uh, we'll, we'll have a booth at the NAR conference up in D.C. next week, I believe. So if you're around the area, definitely come by and, and say hello. and We'd love to talk and, and have a chat with you. Awesome. All right. Well, um, again, we'll be posting all this information to our site as um, soon as the webinar is over. It'll be on our website, um, and then it'll be up there. You can use, Again, use our webinars are only available for a week, but our whole CRM series we're going to leave available for as long as we can until they're no longer right. <laughs> Whatever gets outdated, we'll redo them. So uh, I want to thank you guys again for your time joining us. And, uh, again, great, uh, great talking to you guys and awesome product. Great. Thank you, Craig. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Yep, you too. Bye-bye.